The Earth's journey around the Sun, combined with its axial tilt of approximately 23.5 degrees, is responsible for the changing seasons. This tilt is crucial to understanding the Earth's seasonal cycle. As the Earth orbits the Sun, different regions receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year. This variation in sunlight intensity leads to the four distinct seasons spring, summer, autumn and winter. Twice a year the Earth's axis is tilted neither directly toward nor away from the Sun. These points in the Earth's orbit are known as the equinoxes. The vernal equinox occurs around March 20th or 21st, marking the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere and autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. The autumnal equinox occurs around September 22nd or 23rd, marking the beginning of autumn in the Northern Hemisphere and spring in the Southern Hemisphere. During the equinoxes, the length of day and night is approximately equal everywhere on Earth. As the Earth continues its orbit, the tilt of its axis causes the length of day and night to vary throughout the year. When a hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, it receives more direct sunlight, leading to warmer temperatures and marking the summer season. Conversely, when a hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, it receives less direct sunlight, resulting in colder temperatures and marking the winter season. The solstices occur when the Earth's axis is tilted either directly toward or away from the sun. The summer solstice, around June 21st or 22nd, marks the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and the shortest in the Southern Hemisphere. This occurs when the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun at its maximum angle, resulting in direct sunlight, longer daylight hours and warmer temperatures. The winter solstice, around December 21st or 22nd, marks the shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and the longest in the Southern Hemisphere. During this time, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, receiving indirect sunlight, shorter daylight hours and colder temperatures. In the Southern Hemisphere, the effects of the solstices are opposite, with the summer solstice occurring in December and the winter solstice in June. The tilt of the Earth's axis also plays a role in creating distinct seasons in different regions. Areas closer to the equator experience less variation in sunlight intensity throughout the year, resulting in milder climates with shorter, less pronounced seasons. Regions closer to the poles, on the other hand, experience more significant seasonal changes with longer, colder winters and shorter, warmer summers. The Earth's seasonal cycle is a result of its tilted axis and its orbit around the Sun. The equinoxes and solstices mark specific points in this cycle, indicating when the lengths of day and night are either equal or at their extremes. Understanding the Earth's seasonal cycle provides valuable insights into our planet's climate and the rhythms of nature.